Thanks for joining us on this wet Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Leonard Josiah with uh, the Antigua and the Barbuda Meteorological Services. Let's take a look at your tropical weather update and I'm going to be taking you straight away to our latest satellite imagery of Hurricane Tammy this morning. Uh, this is Hurricane Tammy continues to have a vigorous low level center. It remains well organized on satellite imagery, continues to have a large expanse of clouds, albeit some of which is fanning towards the north. But we are particularly interested in this large feeder band that is feeding into Hurricane Tammy this morning. Uh, this particular large feeder band is creating drenching type rainfall currently over Guadeloupe. And the feeling is that as Hurricane Tammy moves off towards the northwest, some of these clouds will drift towards the north and impact us here in Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, and also possibly St. Kitts Nevis as we continue to analyze the weather situation. Uh, these particular situations are not friendly situations currently there were some life-threatening floods taking place over Guadeloupe and we certainly want to keep those individuals in the Leeward Islands really on check because some of this can create not much uh, not friendly conditions in uh, Antigua and Barbuda the rest of the Leeward Islands so I'm going to be speaking to you uh, about a few flood watches or warnings in a very short order there are no tropical storm watches or warnings in effect for Antigua and Barbuda the rest of the Leeward Islands all those have been dropped. There are no hurricane watches or warnings in place for any of the Leeward Islands and the British Virgin Islands. Those two have been dropped. But as of 8 a.m. this morning, a Hurricane Tammy was located near latitude 18.9 degrees north, 62.5 degrees west. It is moving towards the north-northwest at 10 miles an hour, meaning it is moving away from the island chain. Currently has winds in the region of 85 miles an hour with the pressure at 992 millibars. But Hurricane Tammy continues to impact us here in the Leeward Islands, mainly with respect to its rainfall. And look at all this rainfall now over Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe is underneath all of this rain right now. Some of these uh, rain echoes are moving towards the north northeast or the northeast, but yet still a lot of rainfall over those islands. Here is Antigua. Barbuda is located just to the north right there. Here is Montserrat and also Senkis and Nevis. Not much happening over Senkis and Nevis, but we'll keep this uh, keep an eye on you. But, but we're concerned about this line that is developing over uh, Montserrat and some of which is us creating heavy rainfall. Take a look at some of those reds coming right there over Barbuda. And because of that anticipation that it will continue to move towards the east and already create this drenching type rainfall, there are a few flood watches or warnings for us to talk about. Let's go straight on to it. Uh, then, so if you hear me speak about a flood warning, meaning that it is occurring and it is dangerous, please, if you're in flood prone areas, move to higher ground and make sure that you're safe. Safe. If you hear me speak about an advisory, it is occurring but is not life threatening. But if you hear me speak about a watch, it's major flooding possible but it's not imminent at this time. How do we put all of this together? Let's show you. Well, because of that rainfall that is likely to come across Antigua and Barbuda and the portions of the Leeward Islands, including that band that is now showing up, there is a flash flood warning in place for Antigua, Barbuda, and Montserrat until 2 p.m. this afternoon because of the anticipation of heavy rainfall, which could be life-threatening. If you're in Senkis and Nevis, we continue to post a watch for you, meaning that flooding is imminent but is not occurring right now. We continue to keep an eye on you if you're in Senkis. If you're in Anguilla, a flash flood watch remains in place for you at this stage. There's nothing in place for the British Virgin Islands, but definitely we're going to be keeping an eye on it. So th those individuals who are in Montserrat, Antigua, and Barbuda take heed of these particular conditions because they are not friendly conditions. They are life-threatening conditions. We will be reviewing this in short order and hoping to keep you updated right here on our weather channel. So in summary, Hurricane uh, Tammy continues to drift on towards the north-northwest. If you're on the outside, all of this is now taking place right now. We have a very large feeder band and rain band associated as feeding right into the core of this particular system. It's creating life-threatening conditions over Guadeloupe, some of which can come across our twin island state, Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts Nevis, maybe later this afternoon. And for 
that, we have a flash flood watch or flash flood warning in place for these islands and a flash flood watch in place for Senkis Nidus and Anguilla. We, we are going to be keeping you updated as the weather changes because we want to make sure that you are safe. We are your trusted weather source, the Antigua and Barbuda Meteorological Services. I would want to thank those of you who have subscribed to our channel and thank those of you who have given us a, a thumbs up or even a like. Remember, as your trusted weather source, our aim is not only to keep you engaged with respect to weather, but to impart all of those information with respect to our early warning systems under the World Meteorological Organization as we keep you safe. As I leave you, I will always want to say keep on weathering your weather. In spite of the weather, whether you like it or not, I'm Leonard Josiah saying and wishing you a safe day.